What's up guys? Okay, so I've gotten a lot of questions about people wanting to know what they can eat as a beginner or getting started with carnivore or animal-based. This is going to basically set you up on the right track if you're new or if you just wanna like have a simple go-to that doesn't take a lot of time. I now basically just eat animal-based. I kind of go back and forth between carnivore and animal-based, but found, you know, what does work for me, what doesn't work for me. I think there's a lot of noise out there. It's overcomplicated. It's just too much. This is what I have every single day, especially when I'm getting going and getting back into carnivore or back into animal-based. So I always have bacon and eggs in my fridge and you want to get local eggs if you can or just like organic eggs and you want to get sugar-free bacon. Good, thank you. Can I get you a bag? Um, no. Okay, so I just bought a stack of bacon and 12 eggs. I'll probably have four eggs a day and probably like four cuts of bacon a day. So that was about 15 bucks, 14 bucks. That's like five bucks maybe a day or something. Okay, so I bought the eggs, bought the bacon, but that's only part of the mix. The only other thing that I get when I'm starting out for anything animal-based or anything carnivore, I keep it really simple. I just get ground beef. I get 80-20 ground beef. I get it in bulk. So if you guys are brand new to this and you wanna try this out, you can go to the grocery store and just get like grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef and make sure it's 80-20 because you wanna have the fat in there. But if you're wanting to buy in bulk, like that's the cheapest way to go. You can get so much good quality beef for such a good price and you're gonna just save a ton of money in the, in the long run doing that. So as you can see, I have a ton of beef in here and it's all frozen and it's all ready to go in my fridge. But I also have ground beef that I've like thought out and I was like prepared for this. So I have this from my favorite people. I get all of my ground beef, all of my meats, everything I get from nose to tail. If you guys are looking for a company to buy from a trusted group, you wanna save money on the cost of buying and then shipping the food, you wanna have good quality stuff that is regeneratively raised and they treat the animals nicely, but there's also no seed oils in there. And you can just kinda of know, you know, you're, you're gonna know what you're getting with it. Highly, 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 highly recommend nose to tail. The link is attached down below, there's a discount for you as well if you're looking to go in and, and buy that and there's also a discount code that you want to put in there that is attached to my name so make sure you put that in there if you are going to do it but regardless whatever you do choose to buy go ahead and get ground beef just for your first week and keep it super simple 80 20 ground beef you want high fat in your diet we've been stuck in this like matrix in this system telling us that we don't want fat in our diets mainly women i would say in particular like we think fat will make us fat it's just not true. With 80-20, you're gonna have a lot of fat. There's actually, what, what's called um, tallow is actually beef fat, and that's part of what's in ground beef. So you don't need anything to cook with. You definitely don't wanna cook with Pam. Don't cook with olive oil. Don't cook with coconut oil. Don't cook with any of that for this. If you're brand new to this lifestyle, like you want to get a steel pan. I think everybody overcomplicates this kind of stuff because it makes it, like people are trying to make it seem like it's harder than it actually is. It really doesn't need to be that hard. Like if we just start out with the basics and then we can kind of build off of that. In fact, one of the reasons that I actually like the animal-based or the carnivore lifestyle is that it is so simple. I just cooked the eggs in the bacon grease. It's just that simple. It's about four, 30, I would say, um, in the afternoon. And I've just had bacon and eggs today. I feel pretty full. You'll find that once you actually stick with this lifestyle for a little while, if you stay away from seed oils, your satiety levels skyrocket. Like you need way less food. Everybody thinks this is like a crazy expensive lifestyle, but you just need less food. So I'm gonna go work out now and make that happen. There was a real science to what's called grounding. And that is us just getting into nature. Weirdly enough, it does suppress hunger hormones. It just makes your body like reach homeostasis and I mean, closer to it at least. So try it, it feels great. Okay, and now it's time for dinner time. So with what I was saying earlier, obviously I have ground beef that I already have thought out and I'm simply just gonna cook it on the stovetop in the steel pan. If you are new, Definitely get your electrolytes and you can find a link to that attached below. If you are interested in getting tallow, I also have a link for that below as well. So here's the thing. You can eat the entire bowl of beef, literally the entire thing. Like we have been taught for so long that we should not eat 
all that much food or like that we have to cut calories to lose weight. And so much of it is just based on the type of calorie that we're taking in. So if you're just starting out 100% carnivore and you're like ripping yourself away from all of the processed foods and things, and you're choosing not to have any vegetables right now, eat until you're full. Eat until you're full, eat until you're full, eat until you're full. I had an eating disorder for years. That was very hard for me to adjust to. Eat at least the amount of body weight that you have. I'm 150 pounds. I have 1.5 grams of meat a day at minimum. Eat until you're full, eat until you're full, eat until you're full. And yeah, it's just really that simple, you guys. Just have beef, bacon, and eggs to get you started. For you, if you're brand new and your, your hunger is a little bit higher, that was for sure a thing for me. Like basically just eat when you're hungry and you can have more eggs and you can have more bacon, more beef. Hopefully this helped you guys. I know it was a quick short one, but I've had a lot of questions about this. So, um, you know, we are really stuck in this reality where so much of what we've been taught and told and sold has been profit driven. And that's obviously no surprise, but our realities are so much bigger than what we've been taught and told. And we have so much more potential in us and we have so much more that we can accomplish and be, whether that's, you know, some amazing person in business or an amazing parent or amazing friend or just being proud of ourselves for accomplishing whatever our talent is. So just know that diet has completely changed my life and I hope that that does that for you as well. But if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them down below or message me privately on Insta and subscribe if you like this stuff and like the video so that other people who might need to see it can see it as well. All right guys, thank you. I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.